Hello everyone. So I usually make a morning for visionaries in the mornings, but this is not the morning. It is now 2 p.m. and I'm doing this because I'm trying something new for streaming. Hopefully it streams and records. And today is going to be a fun, well, nerdy oriented topic, but it's not going to be nerdy. Today's topic is understanding the differences between a junior, mid, senior, and a real, I don't want to say marketing pro, but a real web pro and kind of what that means for you as a business owner. First and foremost, people misunderstand kind of uh, a few pieces of terminology. One would be what is a web developer versus a web designer versus just a designer versus a programmer and kind of what all these terms really mean. So a web designer is somebody specifically who designs or can design web pages. A web programmer generally is kind of general term for anybody who can program and can make things online, offline, code for Windows, Linux, Mac, or you know, whatever the function may be. They each have their own special specialities. A designer in general is somebody who can design visual pretty things. There's also subcategories and, and places you can work inside of design, UX, UI, infographic design, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's a lot in each kind of major topic. A web developer also has its own kind of uh, specialities and subcategories, whatever, sub niches, whatever you want to call it. The, the big one for web development is kind of like a programmer. They specialize in doing stuff online. But there is a big difference between a real web programmer and somebody who's calling themselves a web developer. A, that's not to say web programmer and web developer are different. It's kind of interchangeable. But somebody is saying, oh, yeah, I'm a web developer, and they have never really touched code and just use something like Wix or Squarespace. They're not really a web developer. They're just an admin-level person who can touch stuff and kind of put stuff together. That doesn't make you a web developer. A web developer is somebody who can code front-end, back-end, middle, and use those tools, knows the technology. I'm not saying that they need to know everything up and down the spectrum, but they should be able to actually code and do the work and do custom work, non-custom work, and everything in between. Now, that's a web developer. There are also, of course, specialities. A front-end developer, somebody who can make uh, the interfaces actually run and function. Backend developer, there are also a, a few definitions of that one, such as a person who knows databases, somebody who knows how to make the code behind the front end run, somebody who knows how to set up service, and et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of variations on a lot of these terms. But know that there is a huge difference between somebody who calls themselves a web developer and has never really coded before and can just set up something in Elementor, Visual Studio, Wix, Squarespace, not a web developer. Now, let's talk about real web developers. There are also real differences between a newbie, junior, mid, senior, and a real pro. Now, I consider myself, and this is kind of thumping my own chest, I understand, a real web pro, somebody who really knows. I'm personally a generalist. I like to know anything and everything so I can set up and talk to both, uh, all clients, vendors, partners, VCs, and developers and design team and everything in between. I like to be a generalist. The What's that saying? Uh, jack of all trades, master of none. I have some masteries, of course, though I choose personally to generalize so that I can have this business level of understanding of everything and communicate with everybody as a leader of my company. Now, what is there then at that point kind of the difference between that, what I do, and junior, mid, and senior level developers? If we talk about developers, programmers, just specifically, a junior level developer is somebody just starting out. They barely know what functions are. They barely know how to put together. And the thing is, though, that is definitely a learned skill, and they can get better just by practicing and trying more. The problem with junior level developers is sometimes they may, might be thumping their chest going, yeah, I'm, I'm so great. Uh, you know, I can give you a better rate than somebody else and I can get the, all of this done. Well, the problem is, is a proper web developer knows the logic and knows how to think through a lot of these problems and problem solve. That is what makes a developer really valuable. It's not the 
physical ability to code. It's part of it, of course. But the ability to logic through these issues. For example, let's say you tell a human, go jump. You know, let's say we're, we're military commanders. We're telling, hey, recruit, jump. The recruit will probably just start jumping, right? That's kind of obvious, right? They're not going to ask questions. You tell a computer to jump. One, what is jump? How high? How long? How often? What frequency? You have to know all of these things. And somebody really higher up in, in the development food chain is going to know how to ask these questions, know how to figure them out, know how to solve them. And they don't know specifically how to solve them. They know how to get to the answer to solve them. So a junior level developer is you will probably be paying the lowest prices. Yay. But you will also be, you will also have to put in the most amount of effort to train the person, help them understand. Also, they also take the longest to get something done. The, the quick example of uh, cheap versus uh, expert is the simple idea of uh, the story. All of you probably heard this story is some manufacturing firm has a problem with a machine. They can't figure it out. So they hire the expert. The expert comes in, looks at it, hmm, taps the machine once in this spot and, and fixes it. It's magically fixed. They're like, oh my God, you're, you're amazing. Yeah, just, just send us the bill. And he sends them a bill for $100,000. They're like, what the heck? You, you just tap the machine once. No, no, we're not going to pay $100,000. Itemize this bill. So he does. He sends them a bill, tapping the hammer on the machine, $10. Knowing where to tap the machine, $900,000, dollars right? That, that's the joke. And kind of that's the reality of web developers. If you want somebody who kind of just gets this done, can get it done eventually, you don't care about a timeline too much, and you're looking for lowest prices, a junior developer is probably what you're looking for. But you're also going to have to try the hardest to get the quality results and timely results that you're looking for. A mid-level developer, and I love mid-level developers because they are a great mix between price and quality. And it's at that point with mid-level developers that you are going to find somebody who is experienced enough to understand that they, that they know what they don't know, sort of, and can start logicking, that's a word, through a lot of their problems. They can start to say, well, you've given me this task. I don't exactly know how to approach it. I kind of sort of know where to go with this idea. Give me some time and I'll go figure it out. And they slowly and surely start to figure things out and they have some experience under their belt and they can get things done bit by bit by bit. They at that point have a bit more experience with various tools and can give more appropriate recommendations. In general though, mid-level developers have a tendency not to provide too, many, too much client feedback because especially if they're freelancing, they've learned not to be overly critical of clients because they're afraid of losing clients, have bad experience with talking back to clients or giving them their own feedback or ideas. Now, that's when we have started having some fun with senior level developers. Senior level developers, some are of course cocky. Those we kind of try to avoid. Though the, the fun ones and the great developers, they are all logic, nerdy, and code-oriented. Sometimes they can be a bit tough to talk to because they are extremely code-oriented. Though, they know exactly what to get to, and they can create anything and everything. If you tell them, hey, I want to recreate Facebook, they're like, yeah, okay, as long as you have a budget, we can definitely do that. And we kind of know how to. And the Facebook, the, the algorithms will take a little while to figure out and to do things like this, but it's not a complicated system. There's just a whole bunch of logics and some things that go behind it, but it's all doable. And we more or less know how to get at it. So let's get, get, let's get to it. Let's th start starting through the databases. Let's start thinking through the styles, the codes, the connections we have to make. What tools do we need? And they will know a whole, already a whole bunch of these things they need to start bringing together to put this project in as a whole. A senior level developer is pretty much a go-to when you want to problem solve instantly. You, you've tried all your other options and you just need somebody to figure these things out. But you will be paying a pretty penny for this. And usually it's a good pretty penny to pay because they can also get it done the fastest. The way this works is the simple uh, concept of what's better. Are you going to pay somebody for 10 hours at $10 an hour to solve this problem? Or pay somebody once for let's say $125 an hour? to solve it within five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is. Now, maybe you do want somebody who, you know, you don't care about time, you, you, they can take as long as they need to, sure. For a business perspective, it's probably and usually better to get it, get the, especially if it's a big issue, get it done faster by an expert. So food for thought. So at that point, that brings us to what is a real web pro 
Kind of like me. Yay. I know I'm tooting my own horn. The fun part of being a web prof professional and focusing on business and web development is people like that, like myself, we can translate between web and code and clients and team members. And that's usually what a business partner should be for you in your company. So web developers, junior, mid, and senior, they're generally going to be code oriented. They're generally going to want to get to the technology, the nerdiness, the itty bitty gritty details right away. Web professionals, that's at the point where we can say, hey, let's take a step back. We understand there's, there's these nerdy pieces. You don't care about the nerdy pieces. We'll handle that. Let's focus on the business goals. Let, and then afterwards, then let's start translating what your goals, your needs, your functional requirements, what they actually translate to in a nerdy sense. So that can be given to the development team, the design team, the sales team, the marketing team, and putting all these pieces together. And speaking of which, if you are looking for a web professional, hit us up because we specialize in helping communicate between clients, team members, other team members, and web and clients and all these fun things and making sure that everything works because we have experience with this thing up and down the whole stack. So if you have questions, let us know in the comments, contact us. We'll be happy to answer your questions, even just about how to communicate with web developers because we have a lot of experience with that. So hit us up. Peter here again with Morning for Visionaries, which currently it's not morning, it's now almost 2.30. So see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.